it's the beginning of another weekend. Welcome to the show. I am Morayo Afolabi Brown. As always, I have my lovely ladies here. Hi, guys. Good morning. How are you guys doing this morning? Very well. Nima, hmm. Nima is that, very your, that your trip eh, so, to work? Someone called me yesterday who's always heard terrible things about me, never positive, and had the opportunity to study me for just a few days. Said to me, I found out that you're a very strong woman. That no, normally women don't go through what you go through and put up the strength that you display on your daily. And that alone is a good way to start the weekend. <laughs> so all the traffic on the road, even though we keep calling on the government to do something, there's no road on Badagio Expressway now. It's a death trap. Somebody died yesterday at Coca Cola Stop trying to cross because there's always one way. We are calling on government to do something. But we try to. I be saw positive. the pictures. They were just like. Jam. It's a terrible you thing. You, could, you, can't, you can't move. There's no movement. The trucks that is cleared from right. uh, Funshaw Williams and all the other ways on the bridges moved down to Badagri Expressway, all the way to Trade Fair to Yanoba. And we and have then, craters on that road. We don't even know how to be getting you. We have to get the Lagos government to give us a helicopter to be yes, picking so up. Yes, but I don't mind. Pick, let's pick up Nima. We need I a helicopter. I don't mind at all. I think <laughs> that's you know, solution. To pick you up because it's so unfair. We need yeah. you on the show. And you can't be taking, going through the stress every it, day. Um, I went to speak at a church yesterday and um, it was the Anglican Church of Pentecost. Um, I say jokingly to my friend that I feel very, very strongly led in my spirit to preach and I keep fighting the interest because I want to enjoy, I feel like if I'm going to go into ministry, I need to be like fully, I'll leave all the fun that I'm having. But whenever I get the opportunity to preach in a church, I take it very, very seriously and it was a major blessing and I'm thankful to God that the people that I spoke with, God used me to bless their life. But while driving, he's in Okota, and I said I wasn't going to drive there, that I was, just pick me up and bring me back, no problem. As the guy now said, did you say Nima leaves after Lasso? <laughs> I said, yes. And she comes to the show that early in the morning from Lasso. I said, yes. I said, man, she must be really trying, because even just to Okota, even just to Maltu, it is terrible. You're going through a whole lot, and... <clears throat> Well done. I'm feeling for you. How are you doing, Tokwe? What are you doing this weekend? Yes. So, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, um, Ewabela is opening a new studio. Yay, congratulations. I'm very excited. I'm happy. I'm grateful to God. God has been faithful. You know, this is almost a year after I opened my first studio, and it was a major sacrifice. Most people don't understand. When I resigned from being head of makeup and wardrobe in TVC, it was like a major drop in revenue. And I just told myself, it doesn't make sense. Like, I could struggle to just stay, but, you know, I'm happy with what, what I've been able to do in the sure. past I'm years. Proud of you, I'm, I'm grateful well to God. Well done. Fantastic. Thank Good you. job. Hey, madam. Hey. How are you doing this morning? I'm looking gagacious. <laughs> this weekend is looking gagacious. No, gagacious is always on point, too. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This morning was a little bit rough, uh, but all the same, I think that with what uh, Nima had said, that the strength of a woman, mm. nobody can quantify that because we, we multitask, we do a whole lot yeah, of things, true. you understand? And I think Any that... plans for the weekend? Oh, for the weekend, I think... Mm. Mm. I don't know yet. <laughs> For now. Well, so maybe we'll go see a movie or something. Yeah. Okay. Yesterday yeah. was my official issues day. I was named for one issue. Everything fact, that could go wrong. Mean everything that could go wrong went wrong yesterday. <laughs> and I just don't, I mean, I was just smiling throughout the day. Like, you know what? I'm going to get to the end of this day. <laughs> Every, it like, happens. back to back, it was just getting, I mean, different things are coming up, resolving meetings. I was like, right, it's just one of day. those days. Boss lady. <laughs> one of those. But today, remember a legendary Andy Arita Franklin. Yes, so. Pastor, we need to talk about that. The Queen of Soul who died yesterday in Detroit. She was 76. She was actually, beside her was um, Steve, Stevie Wonders. Um, I think also Jay-Z, Beyonce was there. And Reverend Jess Jackson was at her bedside when she passed on on Thursday. Um, wow. She's been remembered. What a grand way she to go. Had, yes. <laughs> yeah, she went in style. <laughs> I was a teenager when I heard the song Respect and she taught me self-worth. Yeah. I grew up with the way my father was trying to ingrain self-worth in me. I didn't get the message. I listened to that song once and I never undersold myself right. to anybody, any man or anything. She sold 75 million records in her lifetime. Yeah. That wow. is she performed at three inaugurals. Yes. Yes. Um, inaugural, inauguration of the president. I've presidents. never seen a person more comfortable in her skin. Yeah, like and I think what, what I've been able to admire about her is the fact that she's family oriented. Right. When you see her talk about her children, her mm -hmm. grandchildren, yes. and not even though she's been married twice and divorced twice, mm -hmm. for someone like that, she still kept her family, family together. together. And last together. year in November was yeah. her last performance, where she then announced that 
she was going to be taking um, resigning from music. Mm -hmm. But I mean, she lived a good life, and many yes. people would miss her. Yeah. Queen of Soul, indeed. Yeah. One of the best vocalists that ever lived. Yes. <laughs> Very deserving of the title. All right, mm -hmm. let's go on a quick break. When we come back, we'll try to breeze through the front pages of the newspaper. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Let's start with the punch. 189 billion naira post budget, National Assembly Joint Committee meeting deadlocked. Picture here, protesters storm police headquarters over detained Premium Times reporter. Mm. Um, Ayifele fans, workers protest plan demolition of radio station. Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin dies at 76. Court threatens to imprison IG for alleged contempt. Untold story of Nigerians who donated kidneys to loved ones. Um, insecurity neck begins moves to decentralize police operations. And we're not elected to only pay salaries, governors declare. Hmm. Huge ransom paid for release of Dapchi Girl, says United Nations. All right, lots of stories some here. Some stories that you missed, the story of the two uh, toddlers. That yes, I was not going to pick it in another story, but go ahead. Was, two Kwara uh, kids founded in a pit. In, in yeah. a pit. So, so two toddlers were found at various points in uh, who lived at various different residence uh, uh, points in Kwara State were found dead in a particular pit in another area very far from their residence. Right. So there's suspicion of uh, ritual killing and all that, but you know, the police are only investigating. That's what the story right. is. Right. So we're going to pick up the story on the Premium Times reporter. Um, that, uh, hashtag Mumu don't do Charles. Um, Charlie Boy. Charlie Boy. Mm. Charles Okuta actually <coughs> led the protests um, against the, the, the demanding the release of this young man. And um, I was going to actually take the allegations because we're here saying that he should be released, but the police are specifically saying a few things. Uh, I was going to pick that up, but I think I missed that. But a few things. Theft is part of it. Yes. Um, uh, they were saying, uh, they were trying to get the allegations. The publication but of a story that didn't fall within the, what the law of the Federal Freedom of um, Information Bill uh, Act allowed. And they are insisting if you have this story, you have to disclose the source. Okay, let me have let me have what they're saying here. They said the force is actually saying categorically that Ogundipe is being investigated for persecution for the offences of theft, unlawful possession of restricted and classified documents inimical to state national security that can jeopardize peace and the breakdown of law and order, capable of perpetrating crisis in the country. That's one, that's, that's one of the allegations. So um, He is insisting that he couldn't <laughs> disclose his source. Yes, under that the, was the issue. Uh, and he's protected under the law, but they're insisting. And I think they should find a way to make, uh, yes. is there to any make a balance. On this and case? we don't want anybody and thinking that. I'm actually searching. Yes. But I know that with the new act, we, ha we don't have enough precedence yet. With the yeah. federal, of, you know, it's a new law. So, so that means he would have to have fight enough. this out in court. Yes, so okay. he will wow. be stating, stating Let's move on to the nation. New police operations guidelines coming soon. Uh, protests at pol police headquarters over reporter. Ayefele sues or your government over building. Votes by an INEC to resign polling, reassign polling booths. And uh, of a robbery probe, Saraki not exonerated, says AGF. Uh, which story are we taking? The police. New police operations. Yes, so. So they're trying to decentralize the police. That's um, what the NEC, National Economic Council, I agree that that's the one headed by the vice president, present acting president. Yes. But you know, we still don't understand. Personally, I don't understand what the decentralization process is going to be like. What I read so, in that story was just that they set up a committee, which yes. Inspector General was going to head, hopefully to get the modalities of how we're going to decentralize yes. police. So we we'll see how that goes. You should give them something to work well, on. Yes. No, so no, what no. we should define should the boundaries? Yes. Job description. Yeah, but yeah. We, you know, we've all been clamoring. For state said, police, yes, state this police. Is like so now the government is listening and then they're putting together a committee to hopefully get it done for us. So let's move on to the new telegraph. UN exposes Boko Haram, accuses NGOs funding terrorists. Bank robbery, life tough without our husband, says police widows. FG governors endorse the decentralization of police. Quara toddlers, bodies found in septic tank. We talked about that. Did mm. you mention that? Yeah. Uh, Abia, six homosexuals arrested in hotel room. And babies in prams more vulnerable to air pollution. So I read about the babies in pram. Um, I, we, it's not really our culture, but a few of us are copying it. Nigeria is more prone <laughs> to pollution because we don't have like we don't, we don't we're no, not checking no, the level of carbon monoxide level within the country. So they say because prams are situated lower, babies within the pram are within an area where you have more pollution um, emitting from the cars and vehicles so as opposed to when they are a little higher. So if you are 
forming this tush. To carry a baby. In mm. Nigeria, carry them at the back. Or back the baby. Or in the front. Here's the other story about the homosexuals. Mm -hmm. A young man was having a birthday party, he invited his friends. He got a room in a hotel. And all of them, because they couldn't afford the room they wanted, they couldn't afford it. So they all kind of clamped up in one room. Unfortunately, and they've, been accused, they've been accused of being homosexuals. He said that nothing happened. They didn't, there was no undressing. There was the only, yeah, they were changing their clothes to, for the club at the night. At night, But the issue was that the police came maybe in saying that they're homosexuals. Maybe, maybe they had a tip on them. All six the, men are in the room. The Suddenly, widows, they're homosexuals. The police widows. So we saw a video that trended about the Zeni bank robbery that yes. you know, three policemen were killed. Mm -hmm. So the, the families of these policemen were made to see, view the video on how their husbands fought gallantly and the, the widows were seriously uh, heartbroken because how, after it, police moved on, the banks moved on. And I would implore the banks to at least Compass. for CSR, do something for them. But the police yeah. must have a welfare package right. for uh, police officers. And ask people to serve with because their lives. Of duty. Let's move important. on quick to Vanguard. FG paid huge ransom to free deputy girls, says United Nations. Although, uh, um, like Mohammed, as our Minister of Information was saying that it's fake news, FG did not pay. Challenges United Nations to show proof of payment. <laughs> Mother of five dies after marathon sex with 28-year-old lover. Mm. Army to commence Operation Python Dance in um, Southeast. Um, Salah, federal government declares Tuesday, Wednesday, public holidays. Uh, lawyers, NUG, NHRC, fault police over refusal to release Premium Times journalists and blackout looms as Jenkos threatened to shut down plans. Let's talk about this mother. Yes, yeah, so, so this woman, Monserrat, was her name, met a man, Kelvin, in Boston, <coughs> right here in Ketu, and decided to, they exchanged numbers and they finally decided to meet each other at Ota. And one round of sex, she slumps and dies. He rushes out to the hospital, he couldn't explain, so the doctor calls the police on him and now he's been investigated for her mother. Now the husband has come to say, me, I did not know, I left my wife hell and had her at home. But you know, she had to go all the way to water for this kind of embarrassing way to pass. All right. Quick <laughs> announcement to people in the Southeast, Operation Python Dance 3 is going to start up and the um, Chief of Army Staff has already announced that every pro Biafran protesters, um, um, the headsmen, we don't want any crisis here being warned. This is going to be annual, so they've, they've done it before and they're doing it again, so be, a, be aware and stay off the path. So, right. We hope there'll be no protests because we know what happened last year. Okay, let's see. Daily Sun, federal government ransom, sorry, federal government paid ransom, says United Nations. Good night, Aretha, Aretha Franklin, Queen of Soul. Governors raise issues of minimum wage. Awesome. Oil marketers call off strike in Anambra. INEC gives parties September 15 deadline on dates of primaries. What are you saying? So on the minimum wage issue, the Governor's Forum came together to say, ah, this new minimum wage people are saying, I think we should start to compare in 14 years what the revenue has been like as opposed to what we pay out that, you know, we're not appointed to only pay salaries. Yes, yeah, so they're supposed to We do. also have to do roads and all that. And all that. that was Some the, people found that offensive, though. Yari, the governor of uh, Zafara State, head yes. of the governor's forum. But is it true? And I wonder, that no, was, that was I wonder how, what, what governors, governors are supposed to be about. You must also admit that you have failed in creating your own revenue. Right. You can't continue to wait for allocation and say we should compare what allocation has been for 10 years. Zafara is a state known for farming for large agriculture. So if Yari cannot generate revenue within his state, that's just one example of all the governors that I can pick each of them and what they can do in their So the idea states. is all the governors currently majorly make their money from whatever allocation, allocation they, get. they get. So except if you want that to change as a nation, the, from the presidency, they would make a law. The, the, as National Assembly would make a law stipulating that your allocation you is know, just you, a part of your income. Let us, not we have, we have to round up. Let me just take one last story in Nigerian Tribune. Muslims lament hike in prices of rams. So, I heard that it's up like, one ram goes up to 300,000 in Lagos. Where is that one? Yes, so. They just gave my mother. Just you know, you know they are rams and they are rams. The rams that look like rams, they are very expensive, 200 right. upwards. This is the season that the people can make but their money, actually. A ram that looks like a goat is about 65,000. <laughs> I have got your rams. Yes. I have my ram. I'm secured. Okay, you are not I'm a not Muslim. So. Well, you get ram now. Of course. Uh, you get it. Sure, of course. My own mother ah, has gotten ram already. Yeah. And she traveled last night too. I said, what's going to happen to your ram? I beg, pass it down. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's amazing, but... It's not easy. Yeah. Well, you know, next it's a very, very important injunction for the... But it's important that people know if you can't afford it. It's also based on capacity. Don't go into it's based on capacity. So, you, so I'm hearing people now take loan to do layer. You do that layer or layer. You just want to parry. Exactly. It's for the sacrifice. <laughs> For the sacrifice, yes. you must have started the 10 days of the age. And one of it is to learn to live within your means. Contentment exactly. is one of the most important so messages of Islam. So if, if we get around to it, 
come to the house of the people that do it. They will share it, of course. I told my mom, places. moms, because they are Christians now, I said, you got ram, please kill them and share it. Because they, they were not know. Muslims, they were Christians, they gave us ram. You, know, hey, you will kill this and share yes. to the entire yeah, neighborhood. That's, that's, that's the idea sense. of this season. <laughs> Let's go on a break. When we come back, hmm, our topic today, pretty interesting. Is cheating a choice or a mistake? And later, our celebrity guest joins the couch. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. So cheating has now become sometimes a norm in many relationships. While some believe it's a deliberate act, some believe sometimes it's usually a, um, a mistake. Some have prompted the cheater to cheat. Something has prompted the cheater to actually cheat with the person they love. So we ask, is cheating a choice or a mistake? What are your thoughts on this? You can join the conversation on 070-8066801. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your view TVC so we can read your tweets. Okay, so from the moment we got this question, everyone was wondering, okay, this is something worth talking about because there's so many angles to this. Uh, some believe that it's a mistake. Uh, someone like me, I always, I, I have that, I have that feeling that many people try as best to live good lives. Nobody wants complications in their lives. So when something about cheating happens, usually it's supposed to be a mistake. But sometimes people feel that, it, that it's intentional. So let me come to you. Who wants to go first? Yeah. yeah um, for me, cheating is a choice, and. When I say it's a choice, every one of us here today go through some sort of temptation one way or the other. But we decided it's a decision in us to say, you know what, I want to be committed or to be faithful to someone. Yes, it could be a mistake if you went on a, uh, on a business trip and you met someone, maybe let's say on the beach, and uh, alcohol is involved, do you understand? <laughs> on that, on that occasion, I would say, yes, um, it's a mistake. But when a mistake becomes a pattern, mm. then it's a, lifestyle. it's a lifestyle. It's a choice that you have decided to take on on yourself. So at the end of the day, is it that you, start, you, 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 you seek counseling? Is it that you, you, you seek help from, from, uh, uh, from elders or prayer people and all of that? But in, in a world we live in today, I think that it's about the value system. Okay. Because let me get mo let, me get, let me get another person's yeah. view on on that question. Okay. Is, it, is it a mistake or do you think it's a, it's a choice? Uh -uh. I should go. Uh, go. Okay. go. Okay. This one is not about newspaper again. So um, <laughs> for me, it's both ways. Largely, and you know my stand on cheating. Largely, I think everything in life is deliberate. Yes. So I deliberately plan to be faithful in a relationship. I expect the other party to be deliberately faithful so you take care of the temptations not because they don't exist you set rules that guides how you live so if i meet a friend today and i notice any kind of gestures or he makes certain utterances or you know uh, towards me and i need to protect my mind i cut him off immediately no matter how important that friend is no matter how useful that relationship for me is non-existent the person will keep complaining about the kind of person i am but i will set myself up to make that mistake yeah. now some people cannot help Maybe in their workplaces or, you know, the kind of th things they go through, they find themselves in that mistake. The point when it's a mistake, like Kike said, is when it's happening one-off. So maybe there's a long-distance relationship and the man is in such a position, a temptation happens. The woman is not there to have taken care of him. But Nima, but you see, know there's some men that are somewhat, need for men. somewhat weak. Not because they don't have the ability to say no, but they just... Have, they're just very, very it's gullible. I don't agree. So that, there's some men that are gullible. Let me come to talk about I'm not here to talk about this morning. Biology when it comes to cheating. I, don't, yes. I, I agree with, um, totally agree with, I, cheating is a deal breaker for me. But the reality of life is that our wiring as women is very different from the wiring of, of a man. Men. Yeah. You know, we, are, we find it easy to resist. Temptation. Obvious temptation. Obvious ones. But women also fall, mm, and it I falls as a mistake. And in most cases, it's not planned for. Right. And it, it might, it, it, it's easy for us to say that every woman that has fallen is because <laughs> they did not watch out for the intention. Sometimes it is just friendship. 
it is just friendship that grows into something else. Sometimes you just meet someone that really cares in a way that you've never experienced before. No. Yes. In a way no. that you have never experienced no. before. Yes. Because we all know we are all women and we just no. and complain yes. about what we want right. in marriage. Yes. And yes. then you see somebody that meets your love language, that understands and is not expecting <laughs> anything as a friend. Right. Those kind of mistakes can happen. Right. Let it me, can. Okay, let me let me Maybe we should redefine really what cheating is. So you meet a friend and you friend a friend. That's a separate thing. When you go into sexual relations with someone that is, uh, you're, you're in a valid marriage, that is cheating. Okay. What, what, what so if a woman is not the only thing about relationships? No, no, that's why I said we should redefine. You cheat when you begin to confide in someone else more than your husband. You cheat when you begin to find solace that, I'm worried, who should I talk to? You're calling somebody else and it's your husband. You cheat when you start deleting pictures, deleting messages, deleting phone calls. That is cheating. That's because you have begun to find relationship with somebody else that you're not committed to more important yes. than your spouse. I think it's very important for us to emphasize on this that every day we meet people who are better than our partners in terms of Certainly. how intelligently, how intelligent the person is, how handsome so the rich. person is, how rich the person uh -huh. is. But it's a decision for us to decide that we don't want to change. As women, like Tokwe said, women are more, we, 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 it's difficult for us to find our, ourselves in a vulnerable state. Because but you are we vulnerable. Can see, no, no, no. Women usually well, are vulnerable. Women, women are vulnerable most, most times when things are not going right in their homes. Exactly. Yes. It, is, it is hard for you to find a woman who, I wouldn't say we have it all. Do you understand? We cannot have it after all. There are, there's no perfection in us as women and our yeah. partners as well. But because you've taken a decision which is a choice to say, I want to stick by this person, regardless whether your friend is better than your partner, whether in man or in woman. Yeah. However, if men are more exposed to, uh, what's it called, temptations, because when a man, it, it, biologically, when they see an attractive woman, do you understand? The body reacts. Yeah, the body reacts, do you understand? So it's about self-discipline. I don't think most men today, or our value system, okay. have emphasized let me, let me on self-discipline. Let me come to Nima. One for one. Yes. Yeah. So now, cheating, as, a, as opposed to sexual relations, because you confide in another, is something that you do deliberately. Because I always say it, there's always someone from your background, family member or anybody who you can tell. And I have, I've had times in my marriage <coughs> where I think my husband is not listening to me. I could come to you, my colleagues, as girlfriends and say, this is what is going on. And you advise me. That's confiding in someone else, not your spouse. You can deal with that. But don't take it to someone who has given you sexual advances or, you know, and you say you, get, you build me, a relationship. Let me pause you for a second. Let me take this call, then oh, I'll come to you, Nima. Morning, are you there? Yeah, good morning. Good morning, thanks for calling. Good morning. Go ahead. Uh, good. Um, cheating is uh, it's normal. It's normal. Okay, but even the choice, yeah, it depends. Like, like my wife, let me give you a good example now. My <laughs> wife always leave out as early as 5.30 to 6 to go for banking job. Understand? Then I try to, like, even before we even make any love, we have a timetable. I'm serious. Whether I like it or not, she will tell me, you know that I'm tired, do you know the nature of my job, you know that I'm only busy. But I thank God, a um, few months ago, God gave me one small girl that I have all my time. <laughs> I'm telling you, she have everything. Even, I, even, even, I want to even go Islamically now, even I can even marry her. Because she has everything. She cook more than my wife. She listen more than my wife. Mm, she respect more girl. than my wife. Did she didn't give me time to... If I call her now, I'm going out by 12, I call her now. My sister in the next few minutes, she will join me and do some nice things. Samson, Samson, it's you people that I'm talking <laughs> yes. to. Yeah. It's you people that I'm talking to. So now your wife has a five to nine whatever kind of job that doesn't allow her. Which work are you doing, Samson? Hey, oh. Hey, they have. Because you are not doing God, God, I see devil's workshop. Hello? Yes. Hello? Yes. Hello? Yes. I'm a, I, I, I'm a barista. Yeah, barista. Hey. 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 It's a kind of job. What do you call it? Barista. barista. <laughs> so you have more time. Please. And you cannot Please. keep yourself busy. Please. So okay. What Samson said is a reality. Thank you, Samson. What Samson said is a... It's a deliberate choice. Hello? We are human beings and we are sexual okay. beings. No, we, hang in we are human beings and we are sexual beings. Yes. People believe that women don't have cravings, but they do. Yes. We understand men have cravings too. Don't give your bad lanu. I don't buy the wallet. If okay. there is no gap, the lizard cannot come inside. Okay. So okay, if you have not neglected your duties in the house, yes. and I know Wait. that some men are satisfied and some men are satisfied and yet yes. they will still go out. But in most cases, those that cheat, they have excuses like Samson. Okay, let me come to you again. Stop, stop. 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 Stop
with you 100%, 101%. Reason mm -hmm. being that most times you find out that most homes, the men have it all in their partner, or the women themselves have it all in their partner, but still they find them, themselves in a situation where they've decided to cheat. They've decided, it's a choice for them. because something missing. They, No, I, 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 have, I have a friend who went through the same predicament. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. The wife was, was there, wouldn't shot, didn't fall short of our duties at home. I'm sorry to say this, maybe in bed, mm -hmm. maybe in the kitchen, mm -hmm. in terms of uh, uh, supporting the man financially right. or morally or physically. Do you understand? But at the end of the day, the man still decided he to, to, he, he, still, he still went ahead to do what he wanted to do. Do you understand? And true. again, I agree that there are times that you find a man, you find, you, you find a friend that you guys start off from being maybe just chatting or whatever. But if you cannot open up to your partner that I have a friend, that I just with. Okay, hey, yes, do not forget right. that all Kigen. these things happen Kigen. in our in, in, in our faces, yeah. in offices, in right. homes. Let me, in, let's in, take in, Samson's in case as a case study, for yes. example. He says so a this now. Let me so, hang him. so mm. the, the the wife right now, Walks she also has a need. Mm. Yes. She's not getting it at home either because yes. she's also busy. Of course, so worry she's getting a, a yeah, something in the office too. How the point is that how when when both parties are far apart, why don't we have conversations? Say, so listen, oh you can't do banking anymore. We, we need to do a job that keeps you closer well, to the home. Yeah, Both of them let's are yeah, not facing yeah, Let's talk about okay. it. I get home. I, sometimes I'm so tired, I can't meet up. But because my husband knows this, because of the number of hours I put into on the road, it will make that sacrifice. Oh, God. Couple, couple, sometimes in your marriage, you just, this biology. thing just turns to a timetable. So you know that it's only weekend. Let me tell you something. But in my first mind, now let me tell you the truth. When I see that need, like two years, I said it on this show, like I would meet it. If okay. I see it becomes a need, right. I will immediately know that there's, a tro there's trouble. The Professor Aslam said, Limo, when you're tempted by any woman, go home to your wife. Because and the wife whatever, says no. Because whatever you see in that woman is in your wife. Why we Something he didn't say he has spoken to his wife. He says, because my wife does the ninth or whatever job, I found no. one small girl. But he, is the wife, he he has wife, to the wife, wife in the know that he has another person that is warming the bed for him? He says that, he tells his wife, and the wife says, the 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 wife, the wife says I am tired. You know the kind of job I do. We also don't realize that even men do this to women, too. They'll say a woman should understand. Abraham in the Bible, is after, after being with his wife, the wife gave Abraham, my maid servant. Mm -hmm. um, um, Isaac was in love with a particular woman. They gave him someone else, yet he still waited and served that one. A man can actually love two people equally, and that's the truth. It yeah. takes commitment to stay with one, right. yeah. but everybody should fight a for their relationship. We're going to go on a quick break, break, because our, our, our woman celebrity guest is here. Hang in there, please. Our celebrity guest is here. So what I, there was a part of us that, there was a part I didn't want us to miss, the fact that Women can get vulnerable. They go through issues. Exactly. And these can make them susceptible to exactly. cheating. Most so those are mistakes. Should, are should, should, they, should they be acknowledged as mistakes or deliberate? When we the come mistakes. back, our guests join the couch. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. So she's a hot screen diva and a former pop singer who's also known for a hit song, Love Me Je Je, Love Me Tender. She has since featured in several Yoruba and English language movies and many, many TV series. Welcome with us, Shafi Bilo Akinrimisi. Welcome to the show. Hey. To give us your views. Hey. Yes, you can call us on 070-8066-8014. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your view TVC so we can read your tweets. So before we we'll talk about your career a bit later, but well, we started the conversation before you came in about okay. the um, is cheating a choice or a mistake? And we've heard different people's views. Um, I think Tokwe raised uh, an issue on women being vulnerable. Because mm. it's easy for you to say a man can make a choice. But sometimes a woman who desires her home, who wants to have a family, really usually doesn't go out set out to choose. But it happens. But I would like to hear your views. Do you think generally cheating is a choice or a mistake? Well, obviously you guys have been dealing with the, the men who cheat. And we yes. often do that. How about the women? Yes. Women cheat. Mm -hmm. People cheat. It's a people thing. Right. Yes. Yeah, more, men commonly cheat, but uh, women also cheat. Mm -hmm. um, is it a choice? Without a doubt, it is a mm. choice. 
But when a woman is vulnerable, she's been through issues, she's emotionally broken. There are things going through her mind. Her husband is not meeting her certain needs and she's having a hard time getting that fixed. And it just happened to be one small boy down the street who maybe fetches water for not going, does, not does her, opens her generator, yeah. or somebody who is her friend, close somebody close, very close, that is just or drops of, drops of the drivers, drivers, drivers. They are just oh, there God, to you listen. Madam, why are you oh, frowning? Secretaries. Madam, how so, are you doing? So Madam, it's a mistake. Some people might think that it's a mistake. Don't you agree with that kind of mistake? It's never a mistake. It's a choice. A mistake it's a is, it's a mistake is I, I pulled this in and it dropped in my hand. That's a mistake. A mistake is um, I was walking and then I tripped. Mm -hmm. Cheating is a choice. There's a thought that happens before you actually do it. So what if you just realize I'm already in love with this person? Is rape a mistake? Never. No. It's premeditated. If, a, if rape is not a mistake, Cheating is not okay. a mistake. It's a choice. Going back to what Nima has said, let us define what cheating is. Mm. Because if cheating is not the act, if it's just the mental, like, you know what, Connection. I am drawn to this person. Well, the Bible talk... also tells us that once you think about it, you've sinned. Exactly. So, so it's the thought of it all. Thought, you can still curb it. That's the yes. point. Yes. So I say it's deliberate to be faithful. You To marry and keep I agree. is deliberate. 100%. So you work at it. You don't just, it doesn't just happen overnight. You 100. take care of all the loopholes all, and you well, work at it deliberately that this is how it's going to be. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, it, it, at the same but I don't time, agree that it's a I choice. I honestly don't. I don't. Oh, you don't I agree don't that because it's a choice. every human being has emotional needs. Mm -hmm. For a man, it is physical. Mm -hmm. For a woman, it is emotional. Mm -hmm. So when a man is being unfulfilled in okay. their physical need, okay. they tend to go out and cheat. Okay. When a woman is unfulfilled in her emotional needs, mm -hmm. she doesn't know it has happened. What is she's already cheated. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, you're supposed she's to She's already cheated. She's already cheated because How? at the end what of the day, mean? because she's unfulfilled, somebody meeting that need could be as little as being a The something we spoke to wanted a good home. The, the he wants a happy home. Wants, he's well, happy with his wife. His wife works a nine to five. She doesn't have time. She thinks my husband should understand. Mm -hmm. My husband knows I'm working. I'm stressing myself. Mm -hmm. But the man has needs. Mm -hmm. This thing has to be filled. Mm -hmm. And so for, yeah, for yeah, him, he feels that God that. has given Give me him. One, yeah. He said, God gave me a small girl so to he help made, my need. So he made a choice right. to be right? with her. Look. Okay. Come on now, it's a choice. You make the choice. It goes on. Now, this jury is so right there. And I make this a jury to is unhappy. right there. I really want it. I've never had jury in my life. So do I take it as, because I've never had one, let me take it. It is a choice. Okay. Okay. Right. Everything we do as it's human beings right. is a choice. Okay. That mind. is a choice. You made a decision to be with one person if anything happens that, mm. okay, you can't be with that person anymore, something is going on, right. they're not satisfying you, you start to make that choice. You work at it. You work at it, and at the point where you give up, right. God bless you, Auntie. It's a choice. I'm sorry. So, it's a choice. The woman in the newspaper we took this morning who met a man in the bus, okay. exchanged numbers, could have said, I, don't, I can't give my numbers to strangers, but she gave her number. Mm -hmm. They fixed a place to meet all the way in Ota. She drove. And oh, the journey yes. from K2 to And during to that Ota, journey, enough process she was thinking to think, about it. To rethink. Oh, and guess what? Even at dinner, they, sit, they sat down, they talked. Let's go somewhere. That's a choice. Um, ah, should I go? Should I not? Trust me, as a human being, as a human being, you always... Look, you know what I mean, without a shot. Now, you guys, didn't, you guys are not asking, you guys didn't ask if doing it is right or wrong. Mm -hmm. You said the act of it. Is it a choice? Is it okay. a choice? All right. That's Maybe the question you ask me. Why okay. I, I agree, agree that it's a choice is because the act on its own, I feel that is an intellectual act. Because when you're deleting messages, when you are going for private meetings that your partner is not aware of, do you understand? Apologizing. You put a lot of effort in it, do you understand? So at the end of the day, why are you not putting that same effort in making you your think. marriage or your part or your relationship work? So, so the it's a choice, choice for to you cheat. to. Yes, yes. she yes. made a choice to cheat, it, it, right? It, it, and in right, right or wrong, if right. she's justified or not. That's that, not you're the not, question. You're not discussing yeah. that. We're discussing the, yeah. act, the, the, okay. the choice of okay. going so to cheat. That's that, a choice. That, that generally, cheating is a choice. Yes. But I want us to go into the issues why people even enter into that space of cheating in the first place. Oh, that, oh. I don't think you have enough time for that. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> because I don't think you have enough time. Because before you came in, 
Yes. The late, we had a call from a gentleman, Samson, who acknowledged that, listen, I cheat. My wife yeah. goes to the bank. The lady listens. Yes. I think I heard that right. while I was in makeup. So, uh, the lady listens, and now she listens more. And, uh, and I want to ask that gentleman, how long ago did you meet this woman? Because Ooh. when you met your wife, she listened, honey. She yeah. listened. <laughs> she catered to your needs. She did everything so she could. Right then now. life happened. I think one of the things is, listen, when we get married, mm. and, and the TV and the world have shown us that it's all supposed to be rosy Glamorous. and butterflies. Glamorous. What we don't learn from is sooner or later, the, rose, the roses, the flowers, and everything, the mm. ugu gaga, the butterflies that you feel within, mm. will end. Marriage should never be about, oh, oh, I, I love him. I fell in love, man. It's never about oh, that. Oh, it's about, about thinking, I mean, no, it's not even about the commitment. It's about thinking, this person, can I make a life with them? Huh. Yes, no. okay. Can I make a life with That's them? It. If Maybe things go second, definitely wrong, you and I, even as friendship, mm. So you make a life. Let me pause for a second. Yeah. I have sexual needs that have been met. And they are human. I mean, I and men are sexual. human. Let me take men this call. Hang, human. hang in there for a second. Yes. Let me take this call. Good morning. Are you there? Yeah, good morning. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, please. Thanks for calling that day. All right. Uh, let me. Cheating is, uh, is more or less like a choice. Okay. But at the same time, what led to that choice? There must have been people somewhere. Talking from personal experience, uh, so... Okay, I, I was in a relationship, and then there was my, my girlfriend told me about this particular guy that reached out to her. I wanted to offer her to buy her stuff. And I told her that, see, do not take this thing because I'm a guy, and I know this thing would lead to one thing or the other. Mm. So no problem, no problem. After a while, I later noticed some things. She was telling me about the guy, but all of a sudden, she stopped telling me about this guy. And down the line, like five, six months later, we had a misunderstanding. Mm -hmm. I didn't talk to her for like a month or a month plus. And then all of a sudden, she, she too, she didn't reach out to me. Then two months later, I found out that she was seeing this guy and then what led to the other. I, for one, cheating is a deal breaker for me. Okay. Now, when so, I talk about well, thank you very much, back. Ade. Now, using Ade's case study, should, 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 should we have backup plans? Nature like, have vacuum. that person who is on the sidelines. Nature abhors the vacuum. Maybe when you're, when you're dating. Oh, well, when you're dating. When you're single, I'm, I'm sorry, the better off. I'm, I'm from another planet <laughs> when it comes to that. When you're dating, yes. I'm single. We never, if we have not said, if you haven't said committed, to me, yeah. I need you to be committed. Mm -hmm. And how am I committed to you? You put a ring on it. <laughs> if there's no ring on it, <laughs> and another man comes to comes, us, that's and it. he is uh, uh, potential, yes. well, you know, child, the same. <laughs> I'm off the table. It's the same psychology, because if they say if you cannot be faithful in relationship, in, while you're dating, you might not be faithful even in marriage. But that aside, I feel that nature abhors a vacuum. When you've already exposed someone, this marriage has exposed me to the beauty of someone nurturing and loving me. Mm -hmm. And that thing just leaves. Yes. My man gets so busy. My, mm. my man is busy trying to make money for the family. He no longer nurtures and cares for me. And I see someone that, oh, the person is just being nice. The person isn't even looking for a relationship. Mm -hmm. The person is meeting that need. Mm -hmm. Ah, but you're looking beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh, but you, mm -hmm. you're so smart. Yeah. Oh, you're so beautiful. I get where you're going. Oh, let's take me to... Like, oh, Can I reply that? And then I realized that you're already finding yourself attached to that person. Yeah. Right. So the idea is, it is not that you don't love the person that is at home. Mm -hmm. It you is that... You wanted to. Or you certainly wanted to go into a relationship with somebody mm -hmm. else. It is that there is a need that you are not even aware of and somebody else is missing. Right. And if we make people feel out that I just be committed to the relationship, there are many women and men dying in silence and angry and depressed because they are not able to fulfill the relationship. Over not and showing... They can't... Okay, here's what I'm going to ask you. Right. At a point in time when you started dating that man, he met every need. Okay. At some point in time, frustrations happen. A man might not be able... Now, men are wired to be uh, protectors and they're wired to be providers, mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. At some point in time, maybe that man ran into a little problem and financially he can't provide anymore. Mm -hmm. So what that tells me is he is now malfunctioning. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. So he can no longer, we all know, uh, yes. at some point in time, you, yes. even as women, in your yes. 30s, you get to a place where you don't even want him to touch you. Right. 
Right. Happens. Oh, it happens? Yes, it happens. Ah, well, so it can't so. happen for the man. No, no, well, well, don't okay, let me take a few tweets. I'm an advocate for, for, for me men. A I'm a, I'll be, a, I'll be an advocate for the men. Okay. It gets to a place yes. where they're just not, they're malfunctioning because right. they can't provide. Yeah, okay, let you me, need to have some patience. Yeah. But the biggest thing is communicate. All right, let me take this few tweets, please. That's important. Here he says, your guest Shafi Akinimisi is right. Samson's wife must have been a listener earlier on in the relationship. This new girl is an agenda and has time on her hands. It is what it is. And uh, Molusha Laikwaya says, marriage is about sizing each other day in, day out. Cheating, hmm, it is by choice. Yeah. Your innate abuse to oneself. Frank Niski said, you, when you cheat, you know exactly what you're doing. It's a mistake only after the person wants his ex back. They could have careless beforehand. They could have been careless be beforehand. Okay. You make a choice. You know That's cheating is wrong. I wonder how much a barrister makes compared to somebody working in the bank. I mean, it's so, it's so painful to know you make that much sacrifice and your husband is this, hanging out. Don't smoke. Watch yourself. That's going to break up right back. That's going to break up right back. Samson, watch your back, Samson. That's the kind of reaction you get. Samson is in trouble today. He told us your story. But that was a great performance we saw of you. Thank you. Um, You're such a beautiful actress. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. You embody every Thank you. role so well. Thank you. You're a mother uh, actress. How, I mean, how, how have you been able to combine all that, even as in acting, being really a, a successful mother? You make sacrifices. Right. Mm. And um, your, your family will know it. Um, it shows with your children, it shows in your marriage, it shows Samson in your life, listening. it shows everywhere. Look, uh, there, there, there's somebody that I um, really love and I've put, uh, I've put as a mentor in my life and that's Oprah Winfrey. She sacrificed not having children because she wanted a great career. Mm. Um, of course, it's a taboo for us oh, here yeah, in this yeah. side of the world, but it's a sacrifice. That's why you have challenges in marriage where if you decide to face the career, well, One something is something going to suffer for it. Right. So, and that's the same so thing with men. You took a break. You yeah. know, after the Love Me JJ music mm -hmm. part mm -hmm. for a long time. Mm -hmm. And I sense it was a time to not your family. That's right. And you're one of the favored lucky few. And I would, let me not use the word luck because I know you walked your way hard back into the industry, but you were able to get back. What do you think made, you, made the difference in getting you back into the, the industry? industry? Yeah. How did you get back? What was that thing that you- You prepare, you prepare to come back. Um, before I got back, I went back to freshen up my acting skills, went back to stage, did a few things, just to sharpen up the skills. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and, then, and then I came back. So you I came was ready to, and, uh, and I think it, it, God released me mm. to do so. So comparing, Makes a difference. you know, I, I feel blessed to be on the same <laughs> red carpet with her because she's, she's my favorite auntie in the family. <laughs> and um, at the end of the day, I think I need to ask you, when comparing the world you lived outside of the country and here, mm. which one would you prefer? Mm. Both. I, I really can't pick. Uh, living in the States prepared me for what I'm facing now. Mm. Uh, it, it sort of set me apart so, somewhat. Mm. Mm. Um, it prepared me for the roles that I'm getting. I look now and I see, aha, that's why God did that. Mm -hmm. That's why, oh, right. that's why you made me go through that. Right. So those experiences that I had, right. it really, it, you can now see it in the characters that right. I take yes, on. Yes. So you've, you, you came back in the ticket and I thought you were going to stick to Yoruba movies, but I didn't think you spoke enough Yoruba in the movie then with Said Balogo. Yeah, but then the ticket I was 70%, um, um, English, English and yes, thirty percent. Yes, it was largely so. I, th I thought maybe you were not ready for Yoruba movies, and you're coming from the U.S. where Hollywood is a whole new business entirely. How do you think your background from there 
can help improve the Nollywood here? What are the lapses that you see that you think they should improve upon? Okay, so I, I, I'm not a, a producer yet, so I'm an actor. Mm. Right now, for now, I'm an actor. So the only thing that I can bring is to do my job right. So the 22-year-old and the 23-year-olds, they see something that they can emulate. Mm -hmm. They see a character that they can say, you know what, if this is how it's done, I need to go back to school. Exactly. I need to get my act together and bring, and bring it on. I love the emphasis on education. I love the emphasis on education. You know, I know you when you see those that you can see, obviously they got the script and they're not professional. There's the, 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 the lack of professionalism within our industry, maybe we think it's unprofessional, but is it different oh, yeah. now? Mm -hmm. Call it a gift. Do you see... Do you, do you what do you yeah do you see that the unprofessionalism as one of the things holding our movie industry back and how do you think we could address that without a shadow of doubt it is holding us back the thing is we get to a place where when we're shooting some some people some producers some directors will go let's just shoot it uh -huh. mm. and at a point when I came in I, I started saying no we don't just That's do true. anything. Mm. We do everything deliberately, mm. intentionally. Mm. So if I'm on your set, I quickly know when I get on a set, you would know when pre-production was done. Mm. And that's how you know a production will be run smoothly. Do, do you ever think of singing, I mean, launching a record label or something <laughs> out there? So my, my music career is not, I, I never say never. Right. You mm. never know. I could be 55 and just feel like, you know what? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I just feel like doing this and just do it. Never mm. say never. Mm. Anything is possible. Mm. Anything is possible. Love, lovely to see. So I, I, I worry about the advent of the new Nollywood. Mm. And I see movies that are, for me, should be a short film mm. that are stretched excessively into being a movie and mm. over hyped, as yeah. it is so hyped that I wonder. What exactly are we doing? And I've not seen you in this new Nollywood. I see you more in series. Is it a deliberate action that I don't want to do this? I, I, I don't want to do this. I, let, no. me, let me stay. Just no, I do films. I mean, if you go to the cinema, you've mm. seen a couple of my yes. films. I do films, but I am... Um, look, let me be honest here. I am grateful that I am not a starving actor. Yeah. Now, let's call a spade a spade. It's not easy in this country. You have a father of two who's an actor, a father of three or a mother of two or three. He, get, she, he or she gets called for a job and he's offered 100,000 hmm. or even 60,000, something innately you should say no. How do you say no? The family. You gotta fit the family. So kudos to those actors that are wow. taking those jobs, that are taking the jobs and just call. doing it. Let me take, just this, call. Let me take this call houses. from Joss. Oh, welcome. Yeah. Thanks for calling. Go ahead, please. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Go ahead, please. Um, can I? Hello. Go ahead. Can you hear your life, please? Go ahead. Okay. Can I comment on the cheating thing or yes, go ahead. to comment on the, oh. the actress? Go ahead. Anyone. It's fine. Okay, fine. Adora, I want to advise you, don't kill my color deal. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's on a lighter mood. Then concerning the cheating. I want to go strongly with uh, the celebrity guest. Cheating is a choice. There's nothing like a mystic about it. You deliberately orchestrated the plan. I quite appreciate that women have challenges emotionally, but it can be managed otherwise, not to end up in a man's arm or on his bed. Mm. Communication is key in a relationship. That's right. Until every means necessary has failed. I don't think there's an alternative to cheating. Okay. But when oh, people please. are caught, thank you very much for that call. When people are caught, they say, it was a mistake, it's the devil. What happened? It wasn't me. Yeah, it wasn't my judge. He, he never wake so, up. So, what, what, at what point did he go from being the devil to something that was deliberate? These things just happen. The question is, when you, when you get somebody, when you catch somebody in the classroom, cheating, you will it's find that it's that always the, book the in devil. The when you find somebody who stole, do you understand? They will point at something that is the devil. Therefore, anyone who is caught in that act of cheating Why on their partner or the their devil. wife or thing, is easier, it's easy for them to point at something, which is the devil. The devil is the one suffering today. Yeah, right. so. So so I was going to ask about, about the actresses with houses in Lekki. Mm -hmm. and they are flying first class. Mm -hmm. And we all know that they get paid like really, really, really like 
it's not there's no big money in acting. I disagree. But you disagree. So the I totally assume. disagree with you. Okay. So people assume that. that they're sleeping around. Look, there's this thing about the fact that let me put it out there. If an actor gets a job um, on a series, for example, some actors are making. Okay, range. some actors range. are making. Let, let me just give you a range. range. Within uh, maybe 150 to a million. It depends on the actor you are. Mm -hmm. It depends on what grade you are. On a good series. Okay. Let's assume you're making 250. Let's take it right there. Okay. A month, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Every month you make 250, and then you have the liberty of also doing other films around. Getting an endorsement as well. And getting endorsement. You can make a million, two million a month. But that's not Some choice. actors are making more. Not all, don't get me wrong. And, I, and it's probably 10%, mm -hmm. but most are not They're making a lot of money. I'm talking about those bananas. that are building houses, that are flying first class. You know, they take a picture in first class, they are wearing Gucci shoes and Gucci bag, and they're wearing designers. Well, we all know that some are traveling coach, coach and then go to the first class to, to take, take pictures. pictures. <laughs> now, come on now, you guys know that. That's Instagram yes, trick. Yes. So they fly I didn't know coach, that. I didn't and know then that. when they're about to get down, it's all over Instagram, yes. come on now. And then they go to first class or business class. class. Before, Before they, they get down, they stay, <laughs> and then sit there and have somebody take their picture and post it. Wow. That's all. That's for those who that want is. to fall for that Instagram story. Young ladies out there, please know that there's no fun. You don't have to do oh, all of you. that. Be real. Mm. Be yourself. We have to I need you to tell all. us what you're working on. What's, 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 what's the future? What are you planning? I am on Battleground right now. Keep watching. Yeah, we're on like it was there. Two. We're on yeah. season two. Um, we're about to shut it down. Okay. And we are shutting it down. Um, I'm, uh, my films are coming out. Chief Daddy, mm -hmm. uh, the one with Ebony Life, will be coming mm -hmm. out yeah. shortly. I have another movie called uh, City, um, Lagos City, or something like that. Mm -hmm. Love mm -hmm. in Lagos, mm -hmm. or something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. It's coming out uh, very soon. Fantastic. You've been yeah, working. So, yeah. I've been working. Yeah. And that's, that's good. Thank God. Very busy. We thank God. Oh, so don't forget, fantastic. Instagram life. Don't copy. Don't, 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 don't fall for it. It's, it's all real. a facade. That's yeah. all we can take. Thank you so much for being here. We thank enjoyed you. having you on the show. My pleasure. Thank you. Remember, please do not use unbranded oil. It's harmful to our health. Have a fabulous weekend. We'll see you on Monday. Bye bye. I'm the bad, bad boy from Nigeria, the baddest boy.